Hey, uh, you awake? It's me, Emmeline. I don't know. That's the problem. Maybe I'm just jumpy because of what's been going on in the city. There's so many people here running from that crusade in the north. I thought I heard noises outside my room. I was worried something was happening. You're right. I know you're right. I just... Ugh, oh, I don't know. Hells. I just feel silly. Wait, there it is again. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go check it out. If you insist. down. before they did, but, well. I wish I knew. Duke Galtan has people trying to assemble the Council of Horror in the main hall. You may want to join them once your friend's been taken care of. Imoen, are you here, girl? She is here, Grand Duke Janath. But she needs help. Let me see her. Fenster and the other healers are dealing with the wounded downstairs. I've some knowledge of the healing arts and a few potions. Perhaps I can be of assistance. The assassin's blades are coated with a mystic poison, but I believe I can save her. The best thing you can do right now is accompany Captain Corwin downstairs and ensure the palace is secure. Of course, my lady. I'll give you a moment to recover yourself and await you on the second floor. If you insist. Two arms. There are more assassins about. All right, all right. Is 
Is that all of them? The council will want to know you're all right. We should get downstairs. Let's go. Your life ends here. Your life ends here. Let us begin. You know your host, Duke Belt, and Grand Dukes L10 and Entar Silvershield, I believe. so-called Shining Lady, Kaylor Urgent. I examined the body of one of the assassins. The sun cresting the horizon was branded upon his forearm. The symbol of Kaylor Argent and her cursed crusade. They were. Something has changed. The Crusade has disrupted trade all along the Sword Coast. Hundreds, thousands have been driven from their homes, their fields and storehouses ransacked. Some weeks ago, we dispatched a hundred flaming fists to join with soldiers of Waterdeep and Daggerford and march on Kalar's stronghold, Dragonspear Castle. It won't be enough. The Crusade's ranks have swelled. After the Iron Crisis, the fists are already stretched perilously thin. Even so, we're sending every sword we can muster north. Excellent. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. There is one other thing you should know. I took this parchment from one of the Assassin's bodies. It's a passable likeness of you. I'm sure you'll agree. You need not go alone. The Fist shall back you, and more as well, if you wish. I know the whereabouts of your old allies, some of them anyway. The Captain here can escort you to them. Spoken like someone who barely knows me, but I'll take what compliments I can get and do what I can not to change your mind. When you're ready to leave, go to the palace's main doors. I'll await you there. You're doing Baldur's Gate a great service. We'll not forget it. Very well. You remember me. Surely you do. Nice to meet you. I heard you talking to Daddy and the other Dukes about Kalar. Are you going to Dragonspear? Daddy hasn't told you everything. Did he mention he thinks Kalar might be one of Ball's children? Yeah, <laughs> I thought not. We can't talk here. I'll tell you more later. Order is what matters. Hello, I am glad to see you well. 
The intruder's weapons were poisoned, but Timora smiled upon us. The poison was weak and fatal only to the weakest of victims. Imuin's heart beats much stronger than that. It's worrisome that the palace was so easily penetrated, and to learn that Kalar's reach extends this far beyond the winding water. Precious little, she claims herself an instrument of the gods, which gods are a matter of some debate, on a divine mission. As to what that mission is, it is as countless as the mouths that praise her and those that curse her. I am glad we had a chance to speak before you depart. But now, I must go. There are many demands on my time. If I do not attend to them, their number will only grow. Farewell. Welcome here. Greetings. How are you holding up? A refreshing perspective. My friends on the Council are inclined to view the tankard as half empty. You'd think that, wouldn't you? But no. No, that isn't the problem. Or my problem, at least. After Sarabak's defeat, I had hoped for peace, but it was not to be. I grow too old for this sort of thing. Once it would have excited me, now I am simply weary. A Kalashite monk once told me, every night is dawn's herald. The trick is to hold on to the memory of light until the darkness breaks. What does the hell about us get in need of me? Better now that she is no longer under the sway of that noxious pig dog Eldoth. But only a little better. Uh, the girl is determined to vex me. She throws herself into the jaws of the world, not realizing the dangers awaiting there. I fear it will take extreme action on my part to prevent tragedy befalling her. So it seems to me, at least. I am sure she would tell a different tale were you to ask her. After Saravok, we'd be fools not to consider the possibility. But all we have is rumor and conjecture. If you two share blood, that's all the more reason for you to represent us, no? I have scattered reports, rumors, conjecture. It is said the crusade holds sway from the High Moor to the Winding Water. The High Moor and Misty Forest are Kalar's, as are the Serpent Hills and most of Trollbark Forest. She has much of the Troll Hills too, but even she avoids Warlock's Crypt, so far at least. After her attack on you, I think her bold but reckless willing to attempt anything to further her agenda, whatever it is. But for now, you must excuse me. The Council must see to the city as you see to Kalar. Taimora favor your travels. If you insist,
I welcome you with outstretched hand. You insist. Accept my apologies. My intent was to keep you and Imowen safe. Kalar's assassins, indeed any assassins, should never have been able to breach the palace. To you. Such riffraff everywhere. You insist. Simply no standards these days.
if you insist.
if you insist. We're more than mercenaries. Greetings. How are you holding up? A refreshing perspective. My friends on the Council are inclined to view the tankard as half-empty. You'd think that. After Sarah, a Kalashite monk once told me, every night is dawn's herald. The trick is to hold on to the memory of light until the darkness breaks. Let us hope Kalar are as pleasant as it is to... Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. Hurry up, if you insist. The Flaming right, Fist right. is trying to keep the peace, but it's an uphill battle. We're more than mercenaries. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. We're more than mercenaries. We're more than mercenaries. Order is what matters. What would you have me do? All right, all I'm so right. Tired. I'm so tired. Order is what matters. I want my mommy, please. Help us. Please, help us. Hmm, bother and bother. Good day to you. Such riffraff everywhere. I thought life couldn't get any worse when I lost my home. Let me tell you, that's the sort of thought you should never think. The gods take thoughts like that as a challenge. Generous, open-handed. <laughs> If we didn't lose everything before, we surely did after we enjoyed your hospitality.
You call that slop food? Three people up and left last night figuring they'd have better luck getting a meal at the Iron Throne. And that was after they paid you your blood gold. No goods left to sell. It's just been so busy with the refugees and all. Everyone seems to need twice as much as usual, and the crowds... Wait a moment. I know you. You're the answer to a prayer. I have a bag of money, my day's earnings, to take to my money lender. She's over by Sorceress Sundries. I was mugged twice trying to get to her yesterday. Could you take it over for me? I'd be so grateful. Thank you. Here's the money bag. Please go straight to Sorceress Sundries. My money lender works just across the street. Let me know when you're done. Hmm, bother and bother, never a calm spot. Never. We aren't far from the Elfsong Tavern. A few people you might want to speak with, Safana, Koran, and the Bard Garrick, have been seen there recently. Or if you'd like to get some supplies for the journey to Dragonspear, we can go to Sorceress Sundries. Next day, or whatever you are after. So tired. Such riffraff everywhere. Glad to meet you, friend. All right, get what you need. I'll cover the door.
simply no standards these days. Riffraff, everybody. Don't crowd the counter.
got everything you need? If you insist. You look like a good enough sort. Simply no standards these days. I'm so tired. Elf Song Tavern. A little pretentious for my taste. I'll wait for you here. Very well. Declare yourself! Get away, you crazy craze makers! Get away! Glad to meet you, friend. You are welcome in my sight. Whoa! Oh, man. Are you in the sewers, too? I mean, I know it's a tavern, but who put it here? So we... Ah! Whoa! Sorry. That one came right at my face. Yeah, so we're in the sewers, right? Under... No, man. You're way off. I came down into the sewers as part of my vision quest. I just didn't, you know, expect to, like, See so much. Ah! Yeah, it's these new glasses, man. I got them from that giant gnome with the scales. It crashed on his couch last time I was in Sigil. Ah! But all I see is invisible monsters and ghosts and stuff. It's making me feel like really surrounded, you know? By my surroundings. Ah! I'm starting to freak out, man. Whoa! Whoa! That's, like, profound, man. You're blowing my mind. Here, take him. Everything's so much clearer now. Maybe you're the one who should be on a vision quest. I'm laying off for a while. Oh, and the giant gnome said the glasses can, like, pull spirits into reality a few times. So be careful. You don't want to drag a screaming Modron or Gith into the Prime for a hangout. Later, man. Out! Get well. out, you vile poxy snake! Yeah. 
Yes. Damn you to all nine hells, Koran. I swear I'm going to... Oh, you know what I always admired about you? Your keen sense of observation. Well, don't just stand there. Come in. What brings you to my door? Nice try. I've spent the last month with that two-faced elf Koran. A flattering tongue will get you nowhere. What do you want, really? I could never say no to you. Then again, I can't think of a single thing you could ask that would make me want to. Keep a good distance now. Declare yourself. It is always good to give a little tip. We'll see how long that lasts. All right. You have an unrefined palate. Oh, it's a fine day for meeting new friends. All right, all right! What can it be now? All right, all right! It is always good to give a little tip. Up. 
All right, all right. All right, all right. Hey there. Whatever you like. What would you have me if you insist? The city is a beautiful place. So full of the gullible and stupid. Now I see why you're called the hero of Baldur's Gate. Bless you. Bless you. There are many here who'll not soon forget this. Here, take this gem. I hid it so Garrichin wouldn't get his greasy paws on it. Uh, don't ask where. I'm so tired. We're almost to Flaming Fist Headquarters. There's a cleric being held there Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk to a madman like Tiax is beyond me. Very well. Such riffraff everywhere. Order is what matters. Order is what matters. I'm so tired. We're more than mercenaries. I will do what I can to help you.
What you looking at? You've brought me to a jail. You have the soul of a romantic. Very well. Please, help us. Declare yourself. We're more than mercenaries. Do not disturb my duties. Order is what matters. What? Let us speak and be done with this. These are sure rough this time of year. I serve the flaming fist! We're more than mercenaries. All right, all right! You've a fair number of friends, but we should head back to the Ducal Palace. 
You need to get some rest before we head out in the morning. If you insist. Hurry up! What would you have me do? Very well. The three old kegs isn't far from here. There's a pair of Rashemi travelers staying there. Duke Eltan thought you might speak with them. All right, all right! What can it be now? I'll await you here until you're ready to go. All right, all right! It is always good to give a little tip. I hope our establishment's to your liking. Always good to give a little tip.
is always good to give a little tip. All right, all right. It is always good to give a little tip. I'm so tired. If you insist. What is it, Bo? I've never seen you so... Ah, can it be? Is this the hero of Baldur's Gate I see? Bo's giant shrunken heart thrills to see you again, as does my own. How are you? I would journey to at least seven of the hills and back for you. Probably all nine, but Boo says, Minsk, be realistic. This, you know. <laughs> but we cannot leave our friend Dinah here undefended. Then do as the cats do to Boo when they think he is not looking and follow. Dinah here. Someone would like to speak with you. How many times must I tell you, Minsk, I'll not debate Boo on the merits of... Is everything all right? Why art thou here? What dost thou want of me? Probably be a dreadfully boring trip, but our friend wants to take no chances on something exciting happening. Thou wouldst face the Shining Lady then. I know of this woman. There are those who believe her to be a daughter of the Divine, perhaps even a child of Baal. She merits further investigation, and is the reason I still linger in the region. Thine offer is accepted. Minsk and I will travel north with thee. And with Boo. Of course. We would be lost without the hamster. Prepare yourself, Boo. We are about to embark on another epic adventure. He pestereth me with more demands.
Simply no standards these days. Always good to give a little tip. Very well. It is always good to give a little tip. It is always good to give a little tip. What have we here? And this is Boo. Say hello, Boo. You must gather your party before venturing forth. All right, all right! We should reach the Iron Throne building soon. Eltan wanted you to speak with a Salunite monk helping out there, name of Rasad in Bashir. If you insist. I'm so tired. What's this, Bison? Huh? What is this? It's all I have, I swear. Well, you better have some more next time I see you. This time, Bison. No, I'm not fooling anyone. I'm not all right. That, that, that flaming fist thug Riggs has taken everything I've got, and it's not enough. If I can't find more gold, he'll beat me worse than he did poor Yasser. I'm doomed. Doomed. Truly. Oh, thank you, thank you, and bless you. If you can rid me of that plague, Riggs. You'll be doing all who seek refuge in Baldur's Gate a service. I shall await you here, then, and pray for your success. Fare thee well. Order is what matters.
We're more than mercenaries. What is it you want now? Best show some respect. I serve the flying fist. Get out of here before I lose my patience. We've been working our fingers to the bone keeping this scum safe. So what if I'm taking a little bonus? I earned it. It's you! Have you... have you had a chance to speak with Riggs about, you know, about what he's been doing yet? The Iron Throne building doesn't look the same as the last time you were here, does it? The Council's using it to house refugees fleeing the Crusade. All right, all right! You are more than welcome in my sight. What is this? It's and you, my friend. How have you been? Nearly killed, you say? Do they truly need to say it? It's unlikely they would be standing here now had the assassins finished the job. What happened? Indeed. This building is filled with those whose lives have been affected by it. You say Kela Argent tried to kill you? But why? You know there are few things I would not do for you, my friend. But I cannot help you with this. While most focus on Kalar's crusade, another, more subtle darkness is spreading. In the past few weeks, many servants of Selune have vanished. Art thou certain foul play has occurred? These are turbulent times. Perhaps thy colleagues are engaged in their own business and simply neglected to tell thee. I cannot deny the possibility, but it is a risk I cannot afford to take. Forgive me. May the Moon Maiden smile upon you in your efforts. You have my greetings, faithful one. May I be of assistance? These refugees are my responsibility, and I believe I detect some tension here.
good thing you were here, Hero. I do not know if I could have defeated the werewolf alone. I will take care of Lon's body and make sure no one was hurt. Thank you again. My God protects me and watches us all. I welcome you with outstretched hand. <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. All right, all right. It has been too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. and much knowledge collected in such a small place. It is good to be on the road again, Minsk. Thou, I, and our friend. And Boo! None of this would be possible without him. All right, yes, of all course. right. How could I have forgotten Boo? There never a calm spot, never a break. You must gather your party before venturing forth. If you insist. A magic tr I shall. You want me? 
Yes, dear. Sword first. Your wish? Hurry up! All right, all right! Trouble? What would you if you insist? I let's talk more fight.
Yes? Sword first. Your wish? All right, all right. Hurry up! You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. If you insist. Gather your party before venturing forth. Very well. What would you have? All right, all right! All right, all right! Sweetheart? Yes, dear. You all right, all right. Your need, right? You're very well. Yes. Whatever you like. Hurry up! All right, all right! Yes? You want me? Right. What would you... All right, all right!
You want boo? Dominski says best talk more fight. Dominski says brawny as the gum. He cannot carry everything, and he must make room for boo. Your wish? Hurry up! All right, all right! Very well. You must gather your party before venturing forth. All right, all right! Alright, alright! Order is what matters. What? So tired. Very well. May you know the happiness of a warm heart and home. Delilia guides the way of all those that seek the path home. Yes, sir. There is nothing there to admire. Women, Real women, not the farcical creatures who exist in your fanciful tales of romance, like nothing better than being taken at their word. A courteous man bows and walks away from a woman who's not interested. Come, let us take our leave of this love-struck dullard. Or better still, let's bide a time and see him struck by something less abstract in nature. Like a frying pan. I am at your service. Come, let us take our leave of this love struck. Life is glorious. There is nothing there to admire. Come, let us take our leave. Yes, sir. Dost thou believe her a god spawn? Could she be a child of Baal? I am at your service. Dost thou believe her a god spawn? Could she be a child of Baal? If you insist. Assist. All 
right, all right. All right, all right. Distance now. All right, all right. I'm so tired. You must gather your party before venturing forth. If you insist. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Very well. All right, all right! More than mercenaries. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. All right, all right!
very well. Hurry up! What would you have me do? Very well. You want me? Your wish? Sweetheart? I... Mm. Yes, dear. Hurry up! All right, all right! So this is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. I suspect the palace's weaknesses have become all too apparent to you of late. Yes, yeah. strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. I can offer you clarity, but we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. I... Oh, you're back. Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison really takes a toll. You don't know him? He said he was a friend of yours. We've known some pretty strange characters, so I didn't think it was weird to have someone pop in looking for you. Oh, I've been in worse shape. You know the kind of scrapes I get into. But never mind that for the moment. We need to talk about you going to Dragonspear Castle. Don't do it. Don't go. I'm healing. But you need to heal, too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just 
cuts and scars, but in coming to terms with, you know, what you are. Let someone else take care of the Shining Lady, please. I'd have you tell the city to take a long walk off a short pier, that's why I'd have you do. But you won't, will you? I know that look in your eyes. I'm wasting my breath. Promise me you'll be careful, all right? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Silvershield about this. I've joined the Flaming Fist! Oh no! No, 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 no! Daddy would never permit it. I joined under a false name. Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life and also get out of this dirty old city and maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. I know! All right, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. Here is the hero, raring and ready to go. The early bird catches the evil worm. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boo? I got out of bed for this. And if there's one thing I'm loath to do in a bed, it's get out of it. The sooner we reach Dragonspear Castle, the sooner we shall learn whether thy father spawned Kelar as well as the Enceravok. prayers and hopes go with you. With your help, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the crusade before it grows any stronger. The Fleming Fist travels with you under the command of Captain Corrin and Corporal Tankin. I'm sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? At Dragonspear Castle, you'll rendezvous with troops from Waterdeep and Daggerford and bring an end to Kalar Argent's crusade, one way or another. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? May the gods look upon you with favor. You'd better get moving, unless there was something else. Let me guess. Skis joins the Flaming Fist and plans to journey north with you. My dear Ski has many talents. Subtlety is not among them. First, I am aware of her grand plan. Bench Duncan, the man who arranged her entry into the fist, is a friend. 
I am not well pleased by this situation, I assure you. But Ski is a willful girl. Were I to prevent her joining the feast, she would find another way to challenge me, perhaps putting herself in even greater danger. As it stands, I can arrange for her protection while not appearing to protect her. Though I like it not, it is my hope this will prove a learning experience for her. That service to the Fleming Feast will strengthen her body, mind, and character. Perhaps Captain Corwin might serve as a role model for her. My son is dead. Ski will inherit the Silver Shield name and all that comes with it. I have to believe she will be ready for the responsibility when the time comes. I appreciate your coming to me with your concerns about Ski. Please accept this ring as a token of my gratitude. When her brother died, Ski changed. She got wilder, pushed me away. I am hopeful this experience will help change her priorities. One other thing. Few of those traveling with you will know Ski's true identity. She is to receive no special treatment from the Fleming Fist. You, however, know exactly who she is. I expect my daughter return to me alive and unharmed. I am understood, I trust. Good. Speak with Captain Corwin by the main doors and be on your guard. The trip north will likely hold dangers beside the crusade. Order is what matters. We're more than mercenaries. Gather your party before venturing forth. Look at all the people coming to wish us good fortune in our travels, Boo! Alright, alright! I have many fine letters! on its stomach. Many fine wares. Yes. What would you have me do? You want boo? You wish? Hello there. You are the hero of Baldur's Gate, am I right? It was fear that compelled me. The fear of not rising to the call. And so I took the mantle and faced my fear. And when I did, I embraced it and discovered purpose, courage, and life. I am Rafus Goodtree. It is an honor to meet you. 
and it will be a greater honor still to fight the Shining Lady at your side. I have kept you long enough, and you have greater responsibilities upon you than trading words with me. But I may be able to help with your burdens, if you would accept it. How much longer must we wait? Crowds are fickle things. What's this now? Padro knows the hero of Baldur's git. We're all here for the same reason. The Council put the world out looking for those ready to fight against this Kalar, and we are always ready for a fight. You like the taste of teeth, do ye? You're this close to eating yars. Get out of my face now before yars gets broke. This and that to be done, no time to stay in chatter. daughter Roma. They'll do what they have to. Exactly like that. This little one, she has a fire in her belly. That's right. Now give me a hug, Roma, and go to your grandfather. Mama's gotta get going. How may I be of service? Little. She's said to be an inspiring leader. Many flock to her cause and serve her fiercely. Some claim her the daughter of a god. Others believe she possesses a divine heritage but generations removed, an Asimar. Her closest advisor is a priest who calls himself the revered brother Heffernan. He claims to serve not one god or pantheon, but all of them. Kalar has accepted this heresy. One of her goals is to see you dead. Do the others really matter? Better to know thy enemy than die in ignorance.
There you are. The caravan's at the palace gate. We're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. Captain Shale Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? And what of your goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold, not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. This is the most fun I've had in weeks. <laughs> <laughs>